So yeah, um, this is a shoe with a divine masculine coming through. Um, this is just a message for, for men in particular. And um, I just thought I'd express a little bit of things that I'm going through right now with, you know, joining with my earth body and like joining with my higher self just in general. So, you know, I'll be honest with you, but um, I just can't believe the shit that people do on this earth. I really don't. Because what it is, is that um, throughout my life, I've always tried my best to have an open heart, you know, be very forgiving. But I'm telling you, the older I got, the more bitter of a mean old grandma <laughs> I motherfucking became. And so, you know, I was never like that. When I was younger, I was very open, very kind to everybody. But it's like, when I reached near my 30s, and you know, this time now, um, I said, I do not fucking trust people. Like, so I got to a point to where I was like, I fucking had enough. And so, you know, there was, there was times at night where, um, I would be very emotional and, um, I would be at night, I would actually be crying because, um, um, what it was is that I said, man, there is so much women out here that are actually not good. And I might not get married in this time because there's so much bad woman. Like I cannot find a woman even near my area, even even long distant. I couldn't find a woman that was decent. And so I just gave up and said, fuck it. I am not motherfucking dating anymore. I don't care what it takes. I'm just not gonna fucking go out, really. I'm not gonna even fuck another thing too because God knows what trouble I might get into if I just fuck a thing. So it's, um. It's hard. I had to sit with myself for a very long time being alone because I was just like, well, fuck. I think being alone might be my only solution because these women are just too fucked up. They're too fucked up. Um, they fucked me up. And so, yeah, I turned into a grumpy old fucking man. People be like, they always make fun of the motherfucking Grinch. But he, why, why the fuck do you think he turned into a grumpy motherfucker? Because he had bitches like that in the motherfucking movie who was just playing him. See that fine little sexy thing? Well, what was her fucking name? She was as sexy as a motherfucker. And, you know, she chose another man, which. But anyways, um, that's just the reality, right? And then, um, you know, I just, like, like I said, I would cry myself to sleep because I was like, I'm not going to end up finding a woman for me. I'm really not. And I would cry. I'd cry a lot. I don't care. I don't care if I'm an emotional man. Fuck. I, I have the right to feel the shit that I feel. And so, um, I was just, um, I don't know. I, I did pray out through my life, but I was on and off about it. I was like, uh, you know, because like I said, I just lost out of hope. But, um, because of, um, this channel, um, because of this channel, I did find, um, strength. And um, it was funny because um, she made one post about how Yeshua says you need to put in a prayer to bring a wife in. And so um, at first I was hesitant, but um, after all the stuff that um, she was posting channeling through Yeshua, um, I started to connect with it more. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say other shit because it's kind of funny what the shit that was coming through because I was like... So this is Yeshua speaking, huh? Like, he sounds exactly like like me. Like the shit that I've been through. So it's crazy because it is true when they say that you're in the image of Jesus, okay? Um, you walk in his shoes. And so um, when I was watching her content, um, I felt the more that she was posting about Yeshua, the more that I was kind of walking in his shoes. Walking in the same shoes as, and being alike with him. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to put in a prayer to, you know, because it was saying, he was just saying that to attract your wife. And um, I did do that. And so um, I guess maybe be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Sorry, not, I don't mean that in a bad way, okay? I don't. But um, it did end up happening. And so that's when I became back into my spiritual self again. See, when I was younger, I prayed a lot. But as I got older, I was very off and on about it. But... I'm telling you, um, because this channel, I did start praying more. And the more I prayed, um, I found the person that I really love. And she's sexy as hell. So, yeah, um, um, you know, just saying.
you know, I can't help but channel through and say a little things about my wife. I just can't help it. But anyways, um, I just can't though. Like sometimes I sit with myself and I'm like, ooh, it's not even romance, right? It's, uh, it's friends too that betrayed me. It's family that betrayed me. People that I thought that were even present people that betrayed me. Like I'm just going through a whole lot. And so I thought that I'd make this message to vent to kind of heal myself because what it is is that um, the more I make these channeled messages is the more I heal myself and I'd be like, but no, I'm just kind of in this epiphany moment where like, man, I can't trust no motherfucker. I can't. And you know, um, it's crazy too because there are so many women that like, they fight for my attention and I don't trust none of them. I fucking don't. Like, there's so many women that go at me for years, and they be showing cleavage on my motherfucking social media, and I'm just like, stop fucking trying. I don't fucking want to be with you. And so, you know, the only eyes I've ever had was um, on my wife, and that's because the reason why she drew me is because she doesn't try hard, okay? And she doesn't have, sorry, I don't want to be judgmental, but you know, she's perfect, okay? That's all I got to say is she's perfect to me. And, um, you know, it's just there's so many women that, they just want to get a fucking, you know, they want to get a fucking and take what they want out of you. And I don't know, some of them, I'm sure they want a relationship, but they're not even fucking functional to have a relationship. They don't fucking have a heart healed enough to be in a relationship. They have no motherfucking business. So yeah, there's just a lot of women, they would just talk to me and I would just like keep it short with them. But, um, I just do not fucking trust any of these women nowadays the only person i trust is my wife and you know um i always have i just didn't admit it at first when i met her i said no i don't know she's too cute i don't know she she might be trouble but you know i prayed over it i prayed over it and no i believed within a day or two i believed i said i could trust her i w i'm just in my ego and i need a lot of healing but um what else is there to say no i'm fine I i'm fine i'm just a little fucked up i'm like I'm not fucked up anymore. I'm, I'm just... So all I'm saying is that, yes, I'm gonna look past this shit. Even though people betrayed me and stuff, like, it hurts like a motherfucker. It does hurt. I get fucking angry all the time. Like, I'd be like, you fucking bitch. You know, like, you know, and I had a pretty cute one that I dated a couple... Um, She was pretty cute, but I only say pretty cute because I've always dated women that were just, you know, just not as cute as the one I have now. But yeah, I thought I'd make that video.